Okay, I'm here for another RC related video because uh, for some reason I don't post a lot of RC videos. Even Anyways, I am back with another RC video, uh, but this one you can consider this a tutorial, but I wouldn't really consider it myself since I'm not teaching you guys how to do this. But if you want to call this a tutorial, go ahead. Um, like I said, it's not intended to be a tutorial. This is just a video of me just installing LEDs on my RC. Now this one right here is a Traxxas Mini E-Revo. This is not the big boy that costs like 700 bucks. No, um, that's not that one. This is just a cheapo $200 Traxxas E-Revo. It's not, ah, it's kind of hot in my room, but it's not the, um, the big boy. This is the cheap one because I got it mainly for its convenience it's small I can easily put this on my backpack and I can use this on my future road trips that's the really the main reason why I actually got it's mainly because convenience I can use this pretty much everywhere I go so this video is just gonna be this is gonna be me showing you uh, inst installing LED headlights on this thing so it's not much of a tutorial but if you want to call it a tutorial go ahead and all to a tutorial but um, I'm actually going to install these uh, LED ad headlights that I got in Am at Amazon for like under five dollars and um, this has been sitting in my parts um, drawer for quite some time and I didn't even get the chance to actually work on work on it until today so um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start working on it. Alright, as you can see, the body's off. Um, yes, I did uh, bash it. If you guys remember my um, skate park bash session, yeah. It's still fairly clean, honestly. It's still fairly clean. So, yeah. And the truck is still... You know, it's still in good shape. The only thing I broke on this thing is just um, the f dri uh, the driver's side um, upper co upper control arm, and I believe the passenger side um, upper control arm on the rear. So aside from that, this thing stood up pretty well. So yeah, uh, enough of me talking about how great this car is. I'm gonna go ahead and um, install the headlights. Now this is some this is something that I actually saw on another YouTube video. Um, this is like as as far as I can tell, this is like one of the easiest way to actually install LED headlights on an RC car. So what we're going to do, um, the th the first one of the tools you need is one of these. These are body reamers, and these are the ones that actually you poke on top of the body where you can actually put holes so you can put your body pins on. But in this case, we're just gonna use LED headlights. And yeah, before I actually start putting the headlights on, I just want to make sure if this thing will fit. Now this one is the act is the easiest way um, that I can that I can find is where you actually use these LED holders and you just poke holes onto the onto the front and back and then you just put these on and these are basically LED housings so it has a you just basically um, drill a hole on your Lexan body and then you take this there's a little yeah right there this bolt right here uh, unscrews and then you just put the you just uh, put the housing on the part where you uh, uh, drilled the hole in, and then if it fits, you use the you use this bolt and and hook it up onto the other side of the housing. And I'll show you how it, how it does, show how how it works once I actually demonstrate it. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, poke a hole right over here and then I'm going to install the light.
inside of the housing. Okay, now the LED housing is now on there. So now what I'm going to, what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to install that bolt. Like I said, um, and I don't think I said it before, but this is not gonna be perfect. And I don't expect it to be perfect. Just as long as I got that headlight housing all, all in there, I'm all good. And this is the easy, one of the easiest methods to actually do it, to install headlights. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because this thing is going to be a little bit of a pain in the neck. So now, okay, there we go. Now we're in. Headlights on now. Well, the headlight LED, uh, LED housing is on. So I'm gonna do the same thing off off camera, and then I'll continue on with the with the tail light section. Okay, I got both the headlight <coughs> housings in. It's not like I said, it's not perfect, but it's in there uh, securely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rears. Yeah, it's literally the same process except these LED houses are small. Alright. It looks like the small ones don't have this little spring. Okay. One headlight, uh, well, <laughs> headlight, one tail light is on. Kind of looks like an exhaust pipe, like an exhaust pipe tip. <laughs> when you look at it, eh, that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'll go from there. All right, both the headlights. Right and tail lights are now on. Yeah, the tail lights almost looks like exhaust pipes. <laughs> I kind of find that cool. Okay, so now here's this $5 LED light set that I got from Amazon. And then, yeah, that's a long, that's long wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the headlights. To that little small receiver. I'm most likely just gonna um, tape tape the big chunks of it on to the top of the body using electrical tape. I'll do that right now. Okay, got myself the electrical tape.
Okay. Looks like that's not going to be falling off anytime soon. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh, this kind of says almost like a set up at a rock concert where the people have to run the wires across the stage and they need to use tape in order for that thing to not to fly around. Okay, so now we got all we got the tape securing the wires. Now I'm gonna go bring my, my truck and go ahead and unscrew the, the receiver box and I'll install this connector on onto the receiver. This is the first time I ever opened up my receiver box. Yep. The receiver actually, the receiver box actually connected with the motor. I don't think it should. I think just easily take it off. It looks like I gotta take off the motor. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take off the motor. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I don't know why to do that. Just to put, I mean, I, I can see why they do it, it's because it's a small package. So, I guess you gotta sacrifice some space if you wanna make a small version of an e Revo. Yeah, I guess I'll give that a pass. So, all I need to do is get the a uh, big wrench. Okay, there we go. Ah, I see why. I see why. The receiver box is actually also underneath that motor. Huh. Okay. Hey, you discover new stuff when you actually get to know your stuff. Okay, now I got the receiver box open. Now all I need to do is I'm just gonna install this on the third channel. to the third channel. Uh, first of all, oh, wow, I forgot. Okay. All right, there we go, now I'm in. Just wanna make sure. Um, I'm actually gonna um, go ahead and turn on the vehicle off camera and because I need to check if this thing is going to be on the correct polarity so the lights can shine as bright as it can. So we'll do that right now. All right, spoiler alert. Um, I, it's all success. I, I did it successfully. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to reinstall it back. Now, honestly, that blue thing that you saw earlier, that was basically the, the part where um, water can prevent from going in. Now I'm not really going to worry about it um, being out of alignment when I reinstall the 
um, the receiver box back in because I barely even drive, I I hardly even drive my RCs on, um, I barely drive my RCs on, on dirt anyways. Well, not dirt, um, water. So I, I shouldn't be too worried about it. So it's no big deal. Only if I can, if this this thing I'm trying to shortcut here. Normally, what people would do with these little cars, they would try to remove the motor. I'm gonna try to shortcut this as much as I can. Okay, there we go. Now I can go ahead and put back the receiver box itself onto the chassis. Now, if you're doing this on a 10 scale RC, it, it should be a lot easier to do it. Like a Slash or a Rustler, it should be easier, but this is a small uh, Traxxas RC, which is the Mini Evo once again. Um, and these small RCs are, a lot of the parts are like held in there tight. So, just keep that in mind if you're gonna start putting headlights on your RCs, be aware. Or where are you going, going to be installing them? Get to know your, your truck first before you start tinkering with things. Alright, All right, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to work on that gear mesh. Um, so, to do the gear mesh procedure on this thing, you have to take this piece out. I believe this is just held down with one screw. I'm not mistaken because I, I did gear uh, did a gear mesh procedure after I did my bash session with this thing. With that, yeah, it's only held down with one screw. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this motor mount screw on real quick. Trying to get a little bit of play. Oh, that's the wrong size. <laughs> okay, oh, there's the big one. A little bit of play. Just a little bit of play. Okay, I think we got, I think I got, I got the gamer set right. Some people, the, most people would, oops, most people would do when setting up the gear mesh is they use a small strip of paper between the spur and the pinion gear and just to ensure just ensure perfect uh, perfect uh, uh, mesh setup but in this case I just gotta wiggle it a little bit and see if it has any play and it's just a tiny bit of play going on in there so I think it should be good okay Now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the cover.
There we go. Looks like it's starting to get tight in there. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Stupid sc uh, screw. There we go. The the hex wrench uh, didn't want to come off. Okay. All right. So now what I need to do next is I'm gonna go ahead and put the body back on. Uh, before I do anything, I'm just gonna check everything is all in good shape. Okay, everything's all good. There she is, the Traxxas E Revo with headlights. Yeah, like I said, I didn't do a very perfect job, but hey, headlights are headlights, and they look amazing. There's the back of it too as well. And they're pretty bright. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's my attempt on working on a Traxxas E Revo 116 scale. Um, installing headlights on it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys again later